Hi, and welcome to Quirky Books with Katie. Today I'm going to be doing my review of Allegiant by Veronica Roth. I am going to be doing actually a different kind of video today, and and that is that this review is going to be entirely spoiler free. And this is really kind of hard for me to do because I like my videos to be more discussion based. So this is kind of something new. Let, give it a thumbs up if you like it and let me know if you want to do, me to do more types of videos like this in the comments down below. Okay, so this book has gotten many mixed feelings from people. There have been the people that loved it, thought it was a fantastic end to the series, although not many. There were a lot of people, which I think like me, that were just like, it was okay, it wasn't anything fabulous, and then there was the people that were just full-on hating it, denying every single thing that happened in the book. Now, it took me a very long time to figure out what rating I wanted to give this book because I felt like there were so many different things there were some things that I loved about it and there were some things that I really was miffed at and that I was not a fan of so the plot in this book it basically picks up where insurgent left off there at insurgent there was this huge revelation and this kind of picks up and Tress kind of has to decide what she's going to do now that this revelation has taken place. The first thing that I'm going to say about this book is that it had a completely different fe feel from both Divergent and Insurgent. Both of those books are very high action, fast paced and intense and you're, you're literally like turning the pages so fast because you need to know what happens. And I feel like this book didn't really have me doing that. It took me about a week to read I'd say and even though it's big usually I can read this book fast it just it was interesting but it did not have me on the edge of my seat and the reason why this book was so different is because finally find out the reason why everything is the way it is sort of, sort of and I'm not going to spoil anything although I will say it's science related which I was not expecting at all and I thought it was just really confusing and there was just this period of time where it was just information dump like just everything and it was really confusing and it wasn't explained very well and even when I felt like I knew what was going on I really didn't I was found myself confused throughout the rest of the book why exactly this was going on and I also felt like the science aspect of it was not explained well enough and it just didn't feel realistic now, I understand that this is a futuristic dystopian, but, and Divergent and Insurgent, you feel like, oh, this could possibly happen in a legion. I'm just like, no, I was just not the biggest fan of it in that way. The next thing that I'm going to talk about is POV. This book is told from both Triss and Force perspectives. Now, I have a very different opinion on this than everyone else. Personally, I liked Force POV. I'm going to say it. I have always liked Four as a character, but we haven't really gotten to see too much of him. And I love that in this book, you really got to see a different side of him. And in Divergent and Insurgent, he's portrayed as being this strong character who, although he has been damaged, he's still okay. And in Allegiant, you really get to see his insecurities and his flaws. And I felt that that was amazing. A lot of guys in YA are just seen as being strong and badass and funny and sarcastic. And I just felt like we, it was so good. We got so much character development on the side of four. Character development that we would not have gotten if we did not get to read from his perspective. Now, I know a lot of people are saying that they hated his POV. He was like a whining little girl. I, I liked it. Now, the other POV, my opinion of that is also different from everyone else's. Trista's POV was interesting, just not my favorite to read about. Personally, I like Trist as a character. I think that she's a very complex character and she has some interesting qualities. I just don't like her that much as a person. I feel like some of her decisions are very rash, even though she thinks them out. And I just... Her character just rubs me the wrong way sometimes. I don't know. I just have never been the biggest fan of her for whatever reason. So the dual point of view for me probably 
gets a thumbs up. I thought it was interesting, although not 100% necessary, but I loved getting to see more of four, so I'm not going to complain about it. And another thing I really wanted to talk about with this book is definitely the writing. I feel like Veronica Roth has such a unique writing style, and although some of the things that she did in this book I was not a fan of, I really did enjoy some of the writing. I will... I don't usually do this, but I'm going to read one of my favorite quotes from this book. I even bookmarked it. I don't think it's a spoiler. Sorry if it is. And this is from Triss's POV. I used to think that when people fell in love, they just landed where they landed. And they had no choice in the matter afterward. And maybe that's true of beginnings, but it's not true of this. Now. I fell in love with him. But I just don't stay with him by default as if there's no one else available to me. I stay with him because I choose to. Every day that I wake up, every day that we fight or lie to each other or disappoint each other, I choose him over and over again and he chooses me. I just, I feel like Veronica Roth has such an interesting way of looking at things and describing things. And me as a writer, I personally appreciate that and I think it's really interesting. And now we are going to talk about the part of this book that is causing the most controversy, which is the ending. As I said in the beginning, I'm not going to spoil it. But I, unfortunately, I was spoiled of the ending. I, I was spoiled on Goodreads, of all places. I know everyone loves to talk about how emotionally, I don't even think emotionally damaging is the right word, how emotionally like traumatizing this ending is. And personally, I did not even cry. Part of it is, I think, because I expected it. I just, and you, you guys know me, I cry at, like, everything. Just for some reason, I did not cry in this book, which was a little weird. And I felt like what happened, it made sense in a way. And I felt like it was justified what happened. A lot of people that read this book are just like, I, I'm, they give this book two stars just because of the ending. And I personally don't agree with that. If you did that, that's okay. I just think that the ending was justified. It's not that it just came out of nowhere. It, there's little little hints of what happened was going to happen throughout the book. So I think it was justified. It was just very traumatic for people. And what happened isn't something that happens all the time. And I think people were very surprised with what happened. Now, this book does have an epilogue, and I felt like the epilogue was what I had an issue with. I feel like, let me word this properly, I just felt like everything about the society is just rushed together in this, like, 10-page epilogue, and you basically figure out what happens to the society, but not why or how, and I feel like Veronica Roth could have taken probably like half of the first three quarters of this book, chucked it out the window, and just kind of explained how the society got to be the way it was. I think that would have been a more effective use of 600 pages. And going, the last thing that I'm going to say about the ending is I am just praying that this does not become a trend in YA. I feel like the reason that so many people were mad about this book was because everything wasn't just wrapped up in a little bow. Now, I'm okay with having a book that doesn't have a perfect ending. I just think that some things you, you can't do all the time. So overall, I decided to give this book three out of five stars. There were some things that I liked, some things that I didn't like. I just thought that the, I felt like the first three quarters of the book and the ending just did not mesh well together and I was just not a fan of the whole science aspect of the book. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought. No spoilers please. But I would love to discuss this book more with you guys. If any of you want to like message me on Twitter or Tumblr or just send something to my inbox, I would love to do that. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you again soon.